I'm Daniel Zengel with PRP Labs here with Don Lipscomb, and we're going to be discussing the use of PRP for plaque psoriasis. Mm -hmm. And Don is going to be talking about a study that compares the use of uh, methotrexate, which is sort of a standard uh, medication for plaque psoriasis, with a, a group of patients that receive methotrexate along with PRP injections. And so it's a comparative study. and um, Don, can you tell us, first of all, a bit about methotrexate and, and sort of how this is used to treat plaque psoriasis? Sure. So um, plaque psoriasis is caused by um, basically an overactive immune system. So it's like the body attacking itself. Okay. So methotrexate is um, not only an immunosuppressive drug, but it's also a chemotherapy agent. So right. this is typically used um, in, I think, lung, uh, neck, um, breast cancer. Okay. Several, there are several other cancers it's used Got for. It. Um, However, it's, it's, uh, it can cause horrible side effects. Right. So um, it, it's just like the kind of side effects you get if you're undergoing any sort of chemotherapy. Okay. Uh, like nausea, vomiting, hair loss. Okay. Uh, and um, also because of it is an immunosuppressive, mm -hmm. uh, it predisposes people uh, to developing diseases that might not necessarily affect them otherwise. Okay. For instance, um, tuberculosis. Right. Okay, and I, I noticed yeah. this study was done in India, mm -hmm. which has a tuberculosis epidemic. Exactly. So, um, and and so, what they wanted to see is can PRP actually expedite uh, this this process mm -hmm. in combination with me methotrexate, so so that uh, you're on the immunosuppressive drug a lot less. Which, right, right. Because you know. with methotrexate, this is not a drug that patients just get on indefinitely. No, it's a drug no. that's given in very specified amounts, specified mm -hmm. times, and the doctor's usually gonna be doing blood tests to make sure it's not destroying your organs. Mm -hmm. Like you're saying, it's very serious medication that we wanna avoid or at least reduce the amount that patients are taking. Exactly. And, and so in this study, uh, they, they see if PRP can essentially speed up the process, make it more efficient, right? Exactly. And um, as we can see, it, it looks like it holds a lot of promise. Yeah. Um, so the study consisted of 21 patients um, and they had very, very severe psoriasis. So if you go and look at the study, or look at the photographs that mm -hmm. were taken um, uh, in the study, then you will see just large swaths of their body just covered mm -hmm. in this uh, psoriasis. And right. um, it's, psoriasis is actually a very common condition. Mm -hmm. However, it's not, not very many people develop such severe psoriasis. Right. So the methotrexate is only used in these really, really severe cases because right. it can be totally debilitating. Well, that's the thing. I think like with psoriasis, there, there is, you know, patients can experience some physical discomfort that comes mm -hmm. with it, but I think it's more like the, the social, mental, emotional stress yes. that could be associated with psoriasis. You know, just mm -hmm. feeling like you look different and, and how that affects your relation to society mm -hmm. can be a very serious thing. So uh, that's why they'll resort to a drug like this that is oh, a very exactly. serious uh, pharmaceutical. Yeah, exactly. So they were divided into two groups. Um, so 10, 10 people out of this group um, uh, underwent um, the methotrexate and, um, the, and the PRP right. treatment. And then you only had five patients that just had the methotrexate alone. Right, and mm -hmm. my understanding is the, the PRP injections were all done during the first initial visit. Yes. And, and so the group of, of patients got the PRP injections, mm -hmm. the other five uh, didn't, but then all 21 of these patients went on to get the methotrexate in its mm -hmm. normal um, amounts for a couple weeks or something like yeah, that? Yeah, uh, it was for four weeks, okay. and the, the drug that they were using is called Folatrax 15, which okay. I guess over there, um, I don't know exactly what it is in the United States, but I, in India, this like, is the standard right. uh, drug that they use. Okay. Um, so yeah, so... Uh, uh, the 10 patients went underwent the PRP or 16 or, or patients? 16 yeah, I'm yeah. sorry that yeah. was the that was another study we uh, were talking about right, earlier right. yeah, yeah 16 right. patients yeah. sorry the math was not adding up 16 patients with the methotrexate and the PRP mm -hmm. and then um, there are five patients uh, with just methotrexate right. alone and and the, when they talk about uh, preparing the PRP mm -hmm. I thought this study actually did a terrific job yeah. um, with their preparation procedures it's it's actually pretty reproducible what they did because they report the parameters. And what I found impressive was for each lesion site mm -hmm. uh, for this plaque psoriasis, they were doing a 120 milliliter blood draw, which is about as much as you'd ever do for a PRP 
uh, procedure. And then they, they spin it down using a double centrifugation process. They end up with about 20 milliliters of PRP. They did before and after platelet counts, and mm -hmm. they report that they had about a six times platelet concentration level. Uh, yeah. They even specified... Over baseline. Yeah. yeah. They mm -hmm. even quantified the amount of platelets they were doing per injection. So per lesion site, mm -hmm. they were doing 6.8 million platelets. And yeah. so when, when the researchers give us those kind of numbers, it makes this very reproducible and, and much more easy to apply in real life situations uh, in the field. And I think if I'm not mistaken, they actually... Um, um, did this procedure based off of another paper. Right, yeah, right? so they were looking yeah. at an established PRP preparation, mm -hmm. which is great. If you know if people keep doing this, we mm -hmm. might come to some kind of consensus as to the best way to prepare PRP and uh, what works and what doesn't. Yeah, exactly. So this is even sort of, I guess, a way of checking someone else's work and also That's true. making, make, possibly making these people's lives a lot better as well. Right, absolutely. Um, so, so overall for the results, so they were evaluated 0, 4, 8, 12, and 16 weeks. Mm -hmm. And um, just in general, I think 70, the psoriasis in all patients treated with the PRP and methotrexate was 75% cleared up on average, right. I think. The, yeah. the group that did PRP and methotrexate mm -hmm. after uh, six weeks? Six weeks, yes, yeah. Yes, that's when they did their- Or 16, it was 16. It was 16 weeks, yes, right, 16. after the final follow-up. Yeah. Thank you, Don. <laughs> uh, the, the group with PRP and methotrexate mm -hmm. showed over 75% improvement mm -hmm. in their symptoms. The group that just got methotrexate was just above 30% mm -hmm. improvement. Uh, so definitely a statistically significant difference and you know it's pretty easy to imagine these patients seeing you know going on this very uh, dangerous pharmaceutical. Mm -hmm. f Sixteen weeks later, only seeing you know about a third uh, improvement versus this PRP group did the exact same thing. Yes. With one PRP in treatment and mm -hmm. and has a mean improvement of over seventy five percent. And mind you, these symptoms are pretty. Um, they're very readily apparent um, if you haven't seen yeah. uh, these photographs before, but basically they, they value them for redness, mm -hmm. um, in duration, which that's this these like fibrous growths mm -hmm. that occur that actually will make the skin kind of feel hard right. and um, like rough to the touch. Right. And also there's desquamation and that that's basically the skin will peel off. Mm -hmm. And so and um, these are the factors they're evaluating yeah. when they're determining uh, percent of improvement. Exactly. And additionally, one of the other really important things to note is that the methotrexate and PRP group didn't have adverse side effects right. from the use of PRP. Right. So there are no adverse side effects. And right. that's always something that you want to evaluate too. Absolutely. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a very promising comparative study. Uh, you know, if, With if there's well-controlled variables. Yes, a yeah. well-designed study. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we like to see ones like this mm -hmm. and um, yeah, so uh, it's something that I, I hope more doctors look into and um, thank you, Don, for, thank you. for breaking yeah. this down for us and uh, we'll be back in just a few minutes with some more PRP videos.